Okay, so this is a detached house that we're offering Rusper Road, so in Horsham, Shawport, Middlehaven Station, nice location down here. Um, there's the Tesco Express, um, basically, which is also within about half a mile of the property, as is an additional convenience store. Um, front of the house, got a nice garage here, driveway parking for a number of vehicles too, uh, a nice enclosed area there as well, relatively low maintenance with a few shrubs. Um, I'll show you around the property. Um, well presented, very nice house, um, good sized family house, really. um, good location, so there's uh, definitely a lot of positives. It's a really nice sunny day out today, and so um, you'll really see that, especially as we get to the back where it's ideal. Okay, so into the living room. Um, spacious living room, plenty of space obviously for sofa, um, coffee tables, there's a nice uh, living flame effect fire there. I'm just going to pan round so you can see all the windows are double glazed. Front one's got the nice leaded light inserts. Um, we're gas central heating to radiators as well in the property. French doors lead out to that sunny rear garden. Panning round um, the dining room here. Um, so we've got a dining room, um, double doors out into the living room, and then a room a door back into the entrance hall as well. Garden again, so it overlooks the garden here, which is nice. And we've got polished chrome uh, sockets and also light fittings. These are very nice touch sensitive lights with a dimmer integrated into that. Um, there's one more reception room, which I'll show you. So it's a study. Um, this has got the broadband connection in it as well. Uh, a blind has been fitted, um, but the house is all very neutral. As a walk out, you can see there's a little bit of understairs storage here. I didn't spend too much time looking at the entrance hall, but I'll take a couple of steps back. Um, so there's a ceramic tiled floor with an inset coir mat there as well. Um, and the other room that's off here is this one, um, which is the downstairs loo. Um, so we've got a wash hand basin, also got a low level WC and a radiator and again tiled, which is nice. Turn off the lights as we're going. Um, and that comes off the entrance hall. Kitchen. So as you look at the kitchen, you can see um, there's a breakfast bar, which is part of it. And we've got a solid granite, I believe it is, work surface on this kitchen. Lovely range of uh, modern floor and wall mounted units. Inset four ring gas hob. Below that, we've got a, a double oven. In addition to that, we've got here an integrated Neff dishwasher. Steps across and we've got an integrated fridge and freezer there too. And as we said, we've got the breakfast bar. There's a couple of seats there already stores, which is nice. We've got a utility room, so it's handy. You can shut the door off with the washing machines. It's whirring away, doing its thing. Um, and we've got the boiler out here as well. And we've also got tucked away in there a, a tumble dryer. Um, so that's nice. Again, really well presented. Nice glass tiled splash back there as well. And um, with a handy storage cupboard too. I'm gonna to turn around. Um, it's got a few bits already in here for storage, which will be cleared away. But there's an integrated garage, um, which has got power and lighting in it as well. So that's all there. Okay, I'm gonna go back round. So that's the tour of the ground floor. As I go up, um, so we go back through into the entrance hall and I'll just quickly pan round before I go upstairs so that you're basically aware. And so upstairs we've got four bedrooms, there's a family bathroom. Um, in addition there's an ensuite shower room off the master bedroom and that's the one I'm going to start with. So we're going to walk through to the master bedroom, it's at the front of the house and we've got a double wardrobe. Um, which is nice, and that's got a, a separator there with double hanging rail. There's a hanging rail as well for the main part. So come round, we've got some nice curtains in here too. The ensuite is fully tiled, so that makes it really practical. Chrome towel radiator, and we've got an inset vanity unit there, which is good. As I take a step back, you can see it's a fully tiled shower cubicle um, with a nice powered or electric shower there as well. Okay, walking back through on the landing, there's access to a loft space as well. And I'll go into this one, so same side, another nice double bedroom. Once more, um, this has got a, a wardrobe, single this time, which is integrated into it. 
Uh, but you can see it's a nice sunny back garden as the sun's coming in as well, which is great. Okay, bedroom two, that was three that we looked at there. So this is bedroom two, big double. Um, we're all, again, neutral decor, those polished chrome switches and light switches. And we've got um, the curtains in here once more, which is excellent. Fourth bedroom, big single. It's a small double if you want it as a double, depending upon what your requirements are. We've got a TV connection, looks like the aerial there as well. Again, um, we've got the curtains in here, which is nice. And the bathroom. So bathroom, we can see here, we've got low level WC, got a pedestal wash hand basin as I pan round. We can see nice big shower bath. It's from the P-shaped ones. Um, so it enlarges in the shower area, so we can take a shower. Um, again, a 